So a few days ago, I saw on YouTube a little bit of a video where this was the thumbnail on screen. So I didn't actually notice this video in my subscription box. I'm actually subscribed to Igor, aka Vitruvian Physique. Uh, but I got a couple of messages on Instagram. People were like, have you seen Vitruvian Physique's latest video about you? He's, uh, or, you know, you're in his video, basically. And I was like, oh, that's pretty random. Like, what the fuck? So as I clicked on the vid, I was thinking, whoa, what, what the fuck? This is so random. Like... Like, clearly it was me in the thumbnail as well, like, the outline of my body. And then I, wa I watched the vids, and it was just Igor so depressed <laughs> in front of the camera, and I was just like, oh, bro, this is exactly me, like, a few weeks ago. And, um, and, like, it was just so funny to, to see him like that, because usually he's so perked up, and, and he's, like, really energetic. When he does a vid, it's like, boom, in your face kind of shit, and he's just on the couch like this, like, I fucking hate my life. <laughs> and he's all like this and shit. I was, I was cracking up, but... Um, actually quite a good vid. I'm gonna link it below as well. Basically after about 10 minutes in the vid of him going over his food and his diet, he brings me up into the into the vid. One thing which I have found to be really helpful and has actually had a lot of success is kind of finding someone who is almost like a rival or a little bit of competition to keep you going. And in my case, it's this guy right here, my old friend Fizma from Australia. So basically what he says is that he's been using me for like his motivation of sticking on track when things are hard. And obviously I've been doing this shred, I'm um, probably two, I think I was like three weeks kind of ahead of him compared to my shows. So I've been kind of on the forefront of getting like, you know, leaner than where he's at, I guess you could say. And I'll put on screen, he put in like this full edit of me and I was like, holy shit man, that's so freaking cool. Like. I'm here down living in Australia and I don't get to collab with many people. In terms of like we did vlog at the gods four years ago, that's probably like my big collab. Like if anyone I could collab with it would be like Chespera, but he lives in Sydney. Um, I don't know of many other Australian YouTube fitness people. Zach Perna probably, um, he's kind of all over the place like traveling shit in Melbourne. I don't know him too well, I kind of know him, um, but you know, is at the point like He's got so many followers, it just looked like me, you know, I just looked like an idiot being like, hey man, can we do a collab? Because he doesn't know me that well and, like, maybe he would. I don't know, Zach. Guys, message Zach, ask him if he would collab with me. I need more subscribers, god damn it. But I just want to give a big thanks to Igor who actually posted, you know, this full-on, like, segment about me. And in the vid, he basically says, I'm his quote-unquote rival. And he's been using that to kind of, you know, when he's having a shit day to be like, well, Friesma's ahead of me, he's just done it, he's been doing it, I want to beat him. And I think that is so cool. I think it's so easy to say in terms of competition, like don't compare yourself to others, but in the sport of improving yourself when it comes to, even though I'd say like being successful in business, making money, uh, pushing your physique and all this stuff, if you are driving forward for something, it can be really healthy and advantageous to compare yourself to someone else because it just pushes you that much more. It means, you know, there's so many points in my business life, in my fitness journey. Uh, let's say I think I'm lean enough, but I could be way fucking leaner if I actually compared myself to someone else. It's almost like that you're, you're too scared to do it because everyone's like, don't compare yourself to others, only compare yourself to yourself. Yes, but... Like anything in life, there's a time and a place. When it comes to building your conditioning for your physique for like a bodybuilding show, it's like you have the low body fat or you don't. It's just as simple as that. So first of all, I just want to say thank you, Igor, for the feature on your channel. Like I said, I don't do any collabs. Um, Rob Lipset and Joe Delaney came and visited me like the start of the year. I made like one vid when I wasn't making YouTube vids. I don't collab much. I want to do it more. And I'm like, maybe I need to start like online collabing like this with people. But um, Igor, he didn't need to do that. You know, he's got like 400,000 subscribers um, to link my channel and everything. That's, you know, really cool. I really appreciate that. And, and I know he knows that as well. So um, also actually guys, comment below if you're one of my new subscribers from Igor's channel. I'd love to hear what you have to think about uh, maybe some of my vids if you've watched a few of them. So anyway, the point of this video, Igor, this is a warning for you, my friend. I know you've just competed. Um, I don't know how you've gone. You haven't, at the point of me filming this, you haven't uploaded anything on Instagram. You haven't uploaded any show day vids, anything like that. So I've got no idea how your comp went, 
But I will say, I know where you've gone from, from your, your start point, that big bulk, to go from there to shred up and lean it up as much as you have. You are primed right now, I'm not sure what you're doing after your comp, but you are primed right now to mentally, and I can tell because of how depleted you were coming to the last few weeks, your mental clarity, your cognition has been messed up by the diet. And it's going to take a good at least one week to two weeks to kind of get that back to normal. Knowing the way, the, like how depleted you were, I know you're going to have a few days of just being like fucking and eating some shit. And that's exactly what I did. But I just want to jump on here and give you a warning, bro. Four days after my comp, and I wasn't, I wasn't going crazy. I was just kind of eating normal food and stuff. I mentally thought that I had gotten fat and lost all my shreds and like... My body dysmorphia was just maxed. The week after, like that whole week, you're, you might think, you start to feel better when you eat more food and it's gonna make you wanna eat more food. But mentally, your cognition won't, it takes like a week or to two weeks to kind of get back to feeling normal. It's gonna be easy to, uh, and I'm just gonna share my own experience with you and I haven't shared this with my YouTube community either. Guys, I'm gonna put this footage on screen here. This is me uh, literally just under two weeks after my comp. So, so this is me just eating like a normal person, not going overboard on calories. I've probably been having like 3,000 a day on average. And coming off the back of the end of my shred where I did get down to like 1,300 calories, you know, that's a lot more food in the system. This footage was shot exactly like maybe 10, nine to 10 days after my comp. And guys, I am looking in the mirror and I've, I know I've got a good pump and, I, and like I'm looking full and stuff. And this is my warning for you, Igor. I have been having massive body dysmorphia. And this is something I've competed before. I'm sure you have as well. Maybe you're, you are aware of this. I thought I was going to be more aware of this this time because I've had this years ago when I used to compete all the time. I have been like, especially the, exactly one week after my comp, I was looking in the mirror and I was just thinking, what have I done? I've lost all my shreds. And I was getting depressed and having body dysmorphia. And I was just like, oh my God, I've lost everything. And you know, this is crazy. What I should have reversed dieted strictly straight away. Like I did kind of last year. I should have capped my calories of, you know, an extra 500 calories less each day. And bruh, just know this right now. It is all in your freaking heads and you need to like try your best to keep on top of that. Honestly, this is 10 days after my comp. This footage on screen right here. I'm putting it on. This is me in the changing rooms at the gym 10 days after my, my comp. Just eating like 2,500 to 3,000 calories a day on average after my comp. Still doing a bit of cardio and stuff as well. So I haven't been completely lazy. But I was too embarrassed to take my shirt off for this physique check. As soon as I did, because I actually shot some footage, some photos. I'm going to put them actually on screen right now. I shot these four days after my comp when I got back to the Gold Coast and I was like, holy crap, I actually look way better than the show. So you kind of have that two to three day period where you still look freaking insane because you just filled out. You're still almost just as lean, a little bit not through the midsection, but like these photos here, I was like, holy crap, this is incredible. And then my eating caught up to me within two days after these photos. And like what I'm putting on screen right now, this is me, honestly, I'm like embarrassed to take my shirt off. I'm thinking, oh my God, I am, I've blown out. And I'm looking at this footage now, like I'm a lot more clearer now with my headspace. And I'm thinking, oh, I still look great. And even now, I'm actually, I've been pulling back my calories now. And I'm looking pretty similar to how I'm looking here. And I actually feel amazing. I think I look amazing still because here's the thing. It's all perspective. You'll know this, Igor. You've been training and going crazy for the show. And you're just, you're just looking at all the weaknesses, all the last bits that need to tighten up, tighten up, the last little cuts that you need around the lower abs, pulling into the obliques and stuff. And trust me, three to four days after your comp, just those little tiny markers which you've been, you know, measuring your whole success rate for weeks towards, once they go, it's a mental fuck up. And because you're probably still depleted from, you know, a massive calorie deficit for weeks and weeks on end, you're going to have a few days where I know this is going to be hard. So this is just my warning for you. I'm sure you're well aware of this stuff. Um, I'll be interested to hear how you go with all this. I'm sure you're going to document it. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little response video. This is uh, kind of like, I guess, my way of collabing back with Igor because, you know, we're on the other side of the world right now. He did actually used to live in the Gold Coast. That's how we do know each other. Um, and we've trained before, but this is when we were both kind of like, we're just kind of training like for the enjoyment of it. 
uh, probably more focusing on our content, our businesses. Our physiques were like so soft and flabby and stuff compared to where they are now. So it's just kind of cool to um, even see that transition of when we caught up when he lived here, you know, Igor, when you lived here a few years ago to where we're both at now. It's fucking sick to see that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. Igor, my warning for you. Stay strong on the mental game and just know you're not alone because you literally, you feel like a crazy person and people are just, like people, like your girlfriend Jordan will look at you and be like, you no, you look great and then you're like, you think like, this is what Gemma's been doing to me and I'm like, no, you're just saying that because you're my girlfriend and yeah, I know I look like I'm a fitnessy person but you know, everything that you've been measuring your success off for weeks and weeks on end, when those little cuts and stuff go, the little details, when they disappear. Man, it's hard to deal with, so I'm sure that, <laughs> there's probably some of you guys who can relate as well. Comment below if you can relate and you know what I'm talking about if you've competed before. It is a massive mindfuck. Uh, like I said, in the past I've reverse dieted and that's been the right decision at the time, but uh, this time around I've just been taking two weeks of just kind of eating like a normal person to just get my head space straight. So moving forward, I know exactly what to do. Now, I'm at a point right now, I could start shredding extremely hard tomorrow and within two to three weeks, I'll be exactly where I was for my comp. So, you know, just know not all is ever lost. Like it's easy to be like, oh, I didn't reverse diet straight away and then, you know, freak out and maybe I, you know, reverse dieting is hard. That's a, that's a different subject in its own. We, we might get into that in another vid, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. Igor, my warning for you, bro. Keep that headspace strong. And um, I just want to say as well, I really appreciate you sharing my channel on your channel because, um, and even, even not that, even just for you to like look at me as your quote unquote rival, you know, for your prep, that's, you know, that's, that's cool. Cause I do the exact same thing with other people. And I think it's cool to talk about that. Um, and I liked it when you were like saying you basically got a collection of half naked guys on your phone. You're not the only one, my friends. <laughs> Wait, actually, no, mine aren't half naked there. Oh, uh, looks like the camera's running out of battery. Um, uh, I'll see you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Comment below if you came from Igor's channel and you're here on my channel. That, that's cool. I want to meet you in the comments below. I'm about to go to the gym and train some chess now. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Thumbs it up if you did. As always, means the most. Freeze fam, peace out. I'll see you in the next video.